Yo, buenos dias and good morning. I hope that you are doing well today. Yes, you. If you're new, welcome to the vlog. Welcome to the family. You're joining at a very good time, at a pivotal time in really my life, or these vlogs are, but my life and a recording of maybe, honestly, 10 to 15% of that day. But since you're here, before we even go any further, hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notifications so that you can be notified whenever I do post. And if you're returning, if you're an OG, Shout out to you, you always got a place in here. You already know the deal. Right now I'm making my coffee. Come on, bruh, come on. Two elixirs of life, it's already made. But yeah, I'm gonna wake up and we'll get this vlog started. I just wanna say something very quickly. If you're an American or a resident living in America and you don't know what these two documents are, the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution of the United States. A lot of people wonder nowadays about these rights we have what can and can't be done. I'm gonna try to say this as simply as possible. Just like, how do we learn more about our Lord and Savior? We literally read the word. We use this to learn more about God than we study. It's the same with this. I'm not gonna make this equivalent to the Bible. At the end of the day, just like, it's not about our will, our volition, our feelings. It's about what God says. Though I get it, philosophically, we can debate all day the, the details of ethics and morals. You can do those exercises and practice them, but ours is based on the Bible. In the same token, in America, the government does not care about your feelings and what you think all this stuff means. It's based upon the Constitution of the United States. If you don't know what this is, or if you've never read it, or if it's been a couple years, refresh yourself. I'm not saying you have to read every single page, but what I do recommend is getting yourself a little bit more refreshed. Once you understand constitutional law, even at a basic level, like a high school level, a lot more things that are going on will start to make sense. And again, without a constitution, I'm only speaking for the United States, without a constitution, there is no United States of America. That is our law, a living document that governs everything about America. What do I do? You doing okay? Oh man. I wish your brother were feeling better. Seems like today is another hot day. I'm already, you know, I haven't even been out here 10 minutes or so. Like humidity. That's why I gotta keep the garage open. But today on the weights is good at least. It's arm day, which I like. Usually my arm day is not as long. There's one thing for me that I love about working out and it's the thought process that I have while doing it. Running and lifting both. It's like they give me, I don't know. It's almost like a form of therapy in itself. I mean, I get it, it does benefit us psychologically, but obviously if you need therapy, if you need true psychological help, see a professional, but you get what I mean? I notice when I lift, it brings thoughts of usually the things I'm trying to avoid thinking about, but rather than dreading these things, it makes me face them head on and use them as like fuel to get weight up. Max! While contrarily as I run, those are just thoughts in general that are just going through my head. It's almost like my psyche has been opened. Thoughts can just flow out or flow in, but it's not something that pushes me to run, unlike lifting. So it's just interesting what's going on psychologically with these two workouts. What I'm thinking about now is just like routine. As we do things daily, they can become habits. You know, some people say 21 days, some people say less, some people say more, but at the end of the day, the point is it's still a habit. Something that's done repetitively, almost subconsciously, it just happens. And then those habits become our routines. In the routines, literally the quotidian routines that we have, the things that we do daily, that becomes our actual reality. And when I'm thinking for my own self, I'm not talking for anyone else. If I wanna change my life, it's gonna take with one step, boom. And then through the laws of causality, that step off the routine is gonna lead to something else. It's gonna lead to something else. And ultimately your routine, thus your entire life is changed. I'm not saying that everything is deterministic, that we don't have free will, no. I'm not even getting into that argument. I don't have time for that. But what I'm saying is there are things that we can do with the choice that we have that are gonna lead to other things if I clap. That impact created these mechanical sound waves, and I heard it. Because the sound wave traveled to 360 degrees, my dog's ears went up, you know? But I chose to clap, you know what I mean? So what I'm saying is, if you want to get out of your rut, if I want to get out of this daily routine rut, of which I'm sick, tired, then it's gonna take me doing something different. To sum this up, if you keep doing the same thing over and over again, and expecting a different result, you're insane. There is more for me in life, and I know there's more for you as well. I mean, you don't wanna be stuck in a situation you are in. Even if you're in a great situation, don't you wanna improve and improve? Don't you want it to get even better? So break your routine today and change 
your life. Like I said, it's hot, but it's not as humid, so that's good at least. Like I said, this is the perfect form of pseudo quasi therapy, y'all. If only it felt good. Because when you get a runner's high, yeah, that feels amazing. But there's this is area of a shadow. So I figured, you know what? I'm gonna take a little breath. I'm actually filming a TikTok right now, so. Anyway, back at it. Barely any clouds. Just burning down on me. Why, bro? Is it really a vlog if I don't mention this? Come on, y'all. Teen water bottle. It's kind of a double entendre, you know? Because it does. I'm filling this up right now because I need to be hydrated. By the way, take a moment right now. Hey, hey. Drink some water. But besides the physical meaning of it, meaning the actual water, there's a more profound meaning of this. If you know what it is, shout out to you. You are definitely an OG. I mean, for real, salute to you. And if you don't, it's in the first 10 vlogs. I forget exactly which one. Go look it up. Besides the workout I was doing this morning, driving is another one of those quasi-therapeutic things for me. It gives me time to think. No expectations, no anything, just peace, the road, and of course that good music. Seriously, I've been thinking about a lot and you think about kind of going back to that routine talk from earlier. You know, our life, kind of taking on the visionary perspective, looking at what you want for your life a couple months from now, a year from now, five years from now, a decade from now. Things that we're doing now is what's gonna lead to that. Think about it, if you're working a job that you hate, you are literally going to be in that office eight hours a day, probably spending 30 minutes to an hour commuting to and from that job. And it's just like, I get it. Money is important. I mean, the Bible literally says money answereth all things. Though we should not worship money, we should serve it. Money can be a tool to get what we want. But I just can't buy into the philosophy of doing something just for money. As I'm looking for a profession, something to truly start, a way to earn money, I think so much of what do I truly see myself doing? Because again, once you get so far in a certain career path, you know, God willing, you start making successes, getting promotions, start getting raises, your salary increases above a certain threshold, you're not leaving. And right now, I'm a single man. I have nothing holding me back at all, literally at all. I have no wife, no kids, no girlfriend. I'm chilling. I wanna put into action the system that'll ultimately lead to what I desire for my future before I start getting these responsibilities. And that's what I look for in jobs and stuff. Y'all. Like, and again, I'm looking for a profession, a career, so. Whether that means you go and get work experience, whether that means you go back to university, get further degrees. For me, I'm still contemplating that. But for you, think about what you want for the future. Truly think about what are you doing, like the things that you want for the future, for your life. Are the decisions that you're making, even today, now that you are conscious of it, because if you're listening to this, I'm talking about it. You can't help but to be conscious of it. So if you are conscious of the decisions that you're making, knowing that ultimately each step you take for the future, the conglomeration of all these possibilities of what could be, that is ultimately gonna become your present. Are those steps that you're making today leading to what you want or not? Well, I got some free time. Might as well get some editing done. I told you I was filming that TikTok this morning, so edit it, get it ready to post tonight. But while I do that, y'all can see old buddy. If y'all saw yesterday's vlog, you can see Trey. You doing better? Yeah, right now he is uh, on cloud nine. He's kind of drugged up, but y'all can see he's still kind of psychologically. I would say his mental capacity to be able to reason as much as a canine can reason is gone. And obviously physically, yeah, deterioration is, yeah. But we still love him, still love him. I mean, y'all, this is so simplistic but so deep at the same time so i'm in jeremiah chapter 10 where it's talking about these man-made idols and it's funny to me because okay first of all let's look at this in context okay the book of jeremiah was written by the prophet jeremiah during a time when israel and judah had been away from god and as we know their relationship with god meaning their adherence to his laws and obedience thereto as well was up and down this was towards the end of their independence right before israel was taken into babylonian captivity and so this is jeremiah trying to warn people wake them up like hey do what's right okay so that's taking it in context this book but what we can do is still read this and exegete things that are still relevant today especially when it comes to this new age religion this liberal christianity the use of these man-made things thinking they have these spiritual powers it's talking about these idols and how the customs of people are vain one cutteth a tree out of a forest they deck it with silver and gold 
fascinant. They don't speak. They gotta be picked up. That's what must needs to be born because they can't move anywhere. But look what it says. Be not afraid of them for they cannot do evil. Neither also is it in them to do good. Because look at verse six. For as much as there is none like unto thee, talking about God, literally, O Lord, Yahweh, thou God art great and thy name is great in might. This is precisely the reason why I feel the modern church needs to be constantly reading the book. Really what I should have said was Christians, period. For there are Christians today that have crystals and believe in numerology. And I'm not talking about biblical stuff. I'm talking about essentially idols without having to list them all that they can protect and there's things that'll cleanse the air and it's like what each of these things are physical things they're all things that are part of this world whether it be some type of life like plants and the like or geological substances like crystals and rocks and stones and whatever but guys the bible makes it clear these things have no power at all these are just physical things which exist our faith is to be on god and God alone through our faith in Jesus Christ, hallelujah, because he loved us. And because he loved us, we are to love him, serving him as the Lord. And remember, loving God is not just stating, God, I love you, but it's doing what he says, following his commands and following the law of Christ. For it's in Christ that the entire law from the Old Testament were fulfilled. Which is interesting to me. I thought I'd share that really quickly. These earthly things, all this new age stuff, astrology and all that stuff, which is actually not new age at all. It's been going on even a while for even the Israelites for worshiping some of the Assyrian gods, which are, you know, planets and stuff, which again are just astronomical bodies, which are physical things, physical meaning part of the matter based universe they're not metaphysical and they're definitely not spiritual so y'all stay in your word know what you believe and rely solely on god for if you're relying on anything else you're wrong so y'all we back out here i legit have not slept at all today which is good i'm trying to stop my naps in the afternoon like i said a lot of changes are coming y'all don't know it doesn't matter you'll see i'll be recording it you'll see but soon i'm not gonna have my days free i did a little bit of reading but when i was reading i just the lord put something on my heart Felt led by the spirit to make two TikToks. And I was like, you know what? I don't really want to do this. So I'll just do it later. I was like, I'll do it later. And it just wouldn't leave. I got the one I filmed earlier today already up, ready to go tonight. Those two. I got to edit this vlog for y'all too. 2016 vibes right here. And my OGs, my boys, y'all know what this is. This is summer 2016 up in Dahlonega when we was all up there. I'm just getting home, I'm about to change out of all this and get truly comfortable. That has been on my mind literally since this weekend. If you missed the last vlog, I basically said that this last weekend was for me to get deep into my own psychology and looking at things unbiasedly, like being truthfully unbiased, looking at my life and seeing, is this how I wanna live? You know, cause like I said, as time goes on, the routine is gonna continue unless I actively and purposefully change it. But with that being said, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog right here. Like I said, I'm not doing anything. I'm gonna eat dinner and then I'm chilling. Got stuff to edit. I thank you for making it this far. If you're an OG, shout out to you. Seriously, you all got a special place in here, especially the ones that have been around since 2016, the commencement of all this. And if you're new, welcome 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 i'm glad you made it this far you especially leave a comment and subscribe and be sure to turn on post notifications so that you can be notified whenever i do post anyway y'all i'm gonna see y'all the next time i vlog could be tomorrow could be in a month but regardless i'll be vlogging soon though we can ask the philosophical question of what is soon <laughs> anyway thanks again and i'll see y'all the next one all right bye